Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. The mission of Social Research Insights is to promote open source software for uh, data analytics and uh, Internet of Things. And these are some of the videos I'm trying to provide for people who are engaging in Internet of Things. Circuit simulation is one of the important activity that helps people who are designing or prototyping the circuits for Internet of Things. And this is in fact one of my series of presentations on how to do circuit simulation through NGSpice installed in Ubuntu operating system. I installed NGSpice in Ubuntu 16.04. You please visit one of my videos where I describe as how to install NGSpice in, in Ubuntu. In my previous video, I've explained how to deal with a simple circuit in which there are four devices. One is uh, voltage source. The remaining three are simple resistors with some certain arbitrary values. I first first shown how to compute the voltage across different resistors manually through LibreOffice Calci, and later I used NGSpice to see whether the manually computed values are correct or not. In this video I'm going to sh simulate a small circuit where the resistors are connected in parallel instead of in series to a voltage source. And let me show you the schema of this uh, uh, circuit which I'm ta ta trying to talk about. The parallel or circuit is the circuit where the voltage is constant and the current that flowing through these devices tend to be different. Unlike to the previous uh, scenario where we, we dealt with a circuit uh, in which the resistors are connected in series where the current is constant and the voltage is uh, different. So a parallel circuit, again I'm going to start my, my sorry let me choose this a uh, different color. I'm going to start my circuit uh, from a voltage source and I'm going to connect uh, three resistors in parallel. So the schema for that uh, or such circuit uh, somehow need to be uh, drawn in this way and here we have R1 and I'm going to take some arbitrary value say some 5 kilo ohms resistance and R2 where I'm going to take some 10 kilo ohms resistance and R3 where I will try to take some 15 kilo ohms resistance just uh, for the sake of example and here we have a voltage source of 9 volts which is the usual battery that we use for the DIY experiments and now as I said in parallel circuits the voltage always remains constant the voltage at R1 is equal to the voltage at R2 is equal to the voltage at R3 as such the voltage the sum of the voltage which means the, 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 the total voltage uh, can be like uh, uh, VR1 plus VR2 plus VR3 something like that but the current tend to be different so say if I have IR1 is not equal to IR2 and uh, which is again is not equal to IR3 so here the problem is the 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 current not the voltage because the voltage always remains constant so we are supplying the same voltage to three different resistors but whereas the current is divided across the circuit depending on the value of the resistor. So this is what the scenario which we need to deal in this example. So let me do these calculations manually in mm, a typical spreadsheet application like LibreOffice Calci which is the default application in Ubuntu. And the Ohm's law is going to be like this EIR so where E is equal to the product of IR, E stands for voltage, 
and also energy I is the current passing through the circuit and R is the resistance. So we have three different resistors in our circuit. The first one is 5 kilo ohms resistor, second one is 10 kilo ohms resistor, the third one is 15 kilo ohms resistor and the total resistance always will not be the sum of the, the resistance that we did in our previous experiment where in series the the total resistance can be calculated as R1 plus R2 plus R3 so that is going to be the the, 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 the value of the total resistance that is in the circuit but whereas here if we want to ca ca compute the total resistance we have to take the reciprocal of the reciprocals of these resistors so that is how we have to compute the resistance in the circuit. So in this in this example we are we are going to compute this uh, the we know that the total voltage is 9 volts and that's going to be constant across the uh, circuit so there's nothing wrong if I substitute 9 in all cells and this is the voltage across R1 mm, voltage across R2 and voltage across R3 and this is the total voltage so we total and now anyway that the, uh, and the, pr the, the the problem is to is that we need to know the current instead of the voltage so for that what happens is that the current is going to be different depending on the values of the voltage and the resistor so we can compute um, mm, the, the current as a ratio of the voltage and resistor that is in fact the Ohm's law so the Ohm's law is going to be V is equal to IR and uh, say if I want to find I then I have to take the ratio of E by R. So here in this case E we have value of 9 divided by R. So this is the current. I just uh, copy and paste in rest of the cells so that so that the, the, the total power is going to be going to be the sum of the the or, or let me yeah I can take it as the sum of the some of the current flowing in the circuit and finally the resistance is not the sum of the three resistors values the three values of these three different resistors whereas that E by R I am sorry E by I so let's go back and see that you know the R is going to be E by E by I it's just a rearrangement of the terms in the equation Ohm's law so E by I so let's check back whether this expression is correct or not. this value is correct or not so the I'm going to do it manually 1 divided by the first resistance plus 1 divided by the second resistance plus 1 divided by the third resistance these are the sum of the reciprocals of the resistance that we have and finally the reciprocal of the recip the sum of the reciprocals of the resistance which is equal to the the value obtained through the Ohm's law this is we computed manually by substituting the values in this equation and the value that obtained through this equation is also equal to the value that we obtained through the Ohm's law. This is the value that we obtained through the Ohm's law here and uh, this value we obtained through the Ohm's law and this value we obtained by by substituting the values independent or individual values uh, and computing the sum of the reciprocals finally obtaining the total value by taking the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of the resistors okay now let's see uh, that whether these calculations are correct through or, or let's see how to write a program in order to compute or realize the 
the current that is flowing through the through the circuit or uh, the current that is flowing through these three different resistors uh, in the circuit and let us simulate that through by writing a program in a GSPICE. So go to your uh, terminal and uh, open your any uh, text editor of your interest. In this case I am going to use gedit and uh, be careful while writing the title of the program. Don't forget to end the title with .cir. So three test three resistor simulation parallels resistors in parallel in parallel simulation so uh, i have just taken three three words of the first two three three letters of the of the issue right? car so you can just simply open that and there you 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 have to start your coding writing the title of the program a simple circuit, circuit with three resistors connected in parallel. So the first one is voltage source, obviously between one and zero, and in this case it is Z, Z DC nine volts. And my R one is in here. You should be very careful. Let me redraw or let let, let, let me uh, give the no names uh, for each and every part of my schema let's say for example we have this entire path that we are saying here is one so there is nothing wrong if i write it as one and since i said that the voltage is same across the the resistors so we are going to replace our resistors with uh, uh, for each and every for each and every resistor we are going to su the substitute our voltage source for each and every resistor such that we will we have will be having different uh, node names for each and every resistor so this is a resistor vr1 uh, this is a voltage source for vr1 this is voltage source for vr2 and this is voltage source for vr3 and now the voltage source for VR R1 is between 1 and 2 and voltage source for uh, let me change the color and voltage source for resistor 2 is between 1 and 3 and voltage source for resistor 3 is between 1 and 4 and finally this is connected to ground 0 so we'll be having the voltage source the 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 common voltage source that is v1 between 1 0 and uh, vr1 between 1 2 v2 vr2 between 1 3 vr3 between 1 4 and the resistors are connected between 2 0 and uh, 3 0 4 0 respectively so our code goes like this uh, the r1 which is between 2 comma 0 so 2 comma 0 is going to be 5 kilo ohms or 2 which is between 3 and 0 mm, that has the value of 10 kilo ohms and all 3 that which is between 4 and 0 is going to have 15 kilo ohms now we are 1 the voltage source for R1 is between 1 comma 2 DC let's keep it zero for time being we are two a voltage source for resistor two this is between one and three that is going to have zero and we are three that is going to be between one and four and again zero we'll be providing the value for this uh, sources here uh, we one uh, nine nine with stepwise increment one and print um, voltage across two comma zero uh, I mean resistor one voltage for for three resistor 2 voltage for resistor 3 
and next also print the current across the circuit and finally end the program or finish the program with our final statement dot end control save let me see whether I'm going to and don't forget to write DC here so that's the most important thing I always tend to forget and go back to the and here ng spice b test 3 resistors connected parallel parallel sim yeah so we somehow <laughs> managed to get our output I thought I will commit a mistake but whereas yeah so here we have the voltage for uh, the I mean common voltage as we uh, discussed that the the voltage always remain constant but the the total current that we have in the let's go back to our calci 3.3 yeah exactly so 3.3 milliamps that we have in the circuit but whereas we are missing one thing we wanted to see that what is the current passing through the resistors so we let us go back to our code once again and here let's let's change the code vr1 current across vr2 and current across vr3 so that this time let's see vr1 vr2 vr3 and let's compile recompile again now we got three different values that the current flowing through resistor 1 is 1.8 milliamps yes exactly and 9.9 .9 milliamps exactly and uh, 0.6 milliamps exactly and the total current that is passing through the circuit is the sum of the current that we have uh, through this individual resistors this way we can uh, uh, simulate the the circuit uh, for a simple voltage source and uh, three resistors connected parallelly I hope you understand the Ohm's law for a circuit uh, in which we have four devices one voltage source and three resistors with some certain arbitrary values connected parallelly and I also told you how to do the simulation through uh, both Calci, LibreOffice Calci and the NG Spice. So stay tuned and keep watching my videos. If you like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.